In this video, we are going to talk about how to implement EndNote function using MacLock Pitch Neuron. So I am Shan and you are watching Tick for Trick. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to draw the truth table for EndNote function. So here is a truth table. So what is EndNote function? In EndNote function, the output will be high or 1 if the first input is high and the second input is low. So here we have x1 and x2 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 So the output will be high if and only if the first input is high or 1 and the second input is low or 0 So now we have to assume two weights W1 for x1 and W2 and x2 for x2 So W1 is equal to 1 and W2 equal to 1 So we are assuming the weights values so now we have to calculate the y inputs. So what is the formula? So this is the formula. y input is equal to x1 times w1 plus x2 times w2. So how to calculate the all the values? So like this we have to calculate all the values. For x1 1 and x2 1 it will be 2. For x1 1 and x2 0 it will be 1. For x1 0 and x2 1 it will be 1. For x1 0 and x2 0 it will be 0. So 2 1 1 0. So as you can see this column represents our calculated net input and this is the actual output. So we know in n not function the output will be high if and only if the first input is high and the second input is low but here as you can see this neuron is also going to fire this is also going to fire and that is perfect but this is also going to fire so there is some error so to overcome this we have to update the weights but there is no training algorithm for that so we have to assume another values of weights so now let's assume w1 is 1 and w2 is minus 1 and like this we have to calculate the y inputs for all the inputs so for x1 1 and x2 1 it will be 0 for 1 comma 0 it will be 1 for 0 comma 1 it will be minus 1 and for 0 comma 0 it will be 0 and it is pretty obvious that it is minus 1 so it is not going to fire so the only neuron will fire is 1 comma 0 So now we have to calculate the threshold value. The threshold value theta, it should be greater than or equal to n times w minus p, where n is the number of inputs, w is the positive weights, and p is the negative weights. So here number of inputs is 2, so 2 times positive weights is 1, and negative weights is 1. We have to consider the magnitude value, so 2 times 1 minus 1, so theta is greater than 1. This is the threshold value for n not function. So what will be the output? What is the final output? The final output y will be function that is at the activation function of y inputs is equal to 1. If y inputs is greater than equal to 1 and it will be 0 if y input is less than 1 where theta or the threshold value is greater than equal to 1. So this is how we can implement n not function using MacLuckPitch Neuron. So thanks for watching. I hope I was able to teach you how to implement n not function using MacLuckPitch Neuron. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and comment down your queries. If you have any problem, feel free to comment down below. I'll see you in the next video.